it's always something. I have to psych myself up for this stuff. I hope I can get this thing home. Two things today. This is just making me mad. It's just making me mad. Okay, y'all, real quick uh, table talk here with Lawrence because I know some of y'all like that. And I got a question from my last video several times, so I'm going to let him kind of answer it. And if any of y'all don't believe it, we're done here. He said he's going to teach me something, so here we go. So he knows it's going to be high. It's not dried out all the way. And it ain't much to look at. No, right here, mm. It's like right there is all. Well, it's hay out y'all. Okay, yeah. Hmm. On this note, where it was dry, it didn't rain. It didn't. Okay. What are we learning? Well, that's just riding. That's who? Rattling. Rattling? Because of the sound? Yeah. Rattling. Which sounds dry. Yeah. Okay. Now, that right there, it's pretty dry. Yeah, I see a little bit of green. You don't see a green skin there. So you don't see a green skin every once in a while. You can feel the difference under the bottom. It's a little bit more in the order under the bottom, but it's still rattling. I say roll it up for a drain. <laughs> All right, let's roll it up before it rains. Thank you for doing that. Girl, you ready to go? Radio check. All right. Air. The air going. Over here, we had 98 over there, so around 
hopefully not till the afternoon. So, um, obviously we can haul in the rain, but prefer not to. And getting up that hill in the rain might not be fun either. So, stay tuned. We'll see how that goes. And that's a wrap, folks. Good job. Okay, well, I got a full belly. <laughs> Just cook supper, and we're heading back out to haul. He thinks we can get two loads tonight. I'm not sure about that, unless we're going to go till like 10 o'clock. <sighs> Maybe that's the plan. Anyway, it'll give us a good head start on tomorrow, so it's all good. Look at that sky. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I thought so, too. Okay, one is hooked. Now we'll go get my girl hooked. Oop. Well, we're behind, per usual. He had to go home and get something to help finish hooking this thing up. Got it. He had to get a bushing. We ain't got it yet. Okay. Okay, we're about to go. He's gone back to the barn to get his trailer and tractor. He's gonna say truck. We're hooked up here. Uh, yeah, sun's going down quickly. I guess we'll just get done what we can get done. Please say that again. Okay, here we go. Been instructed not to turn too short because it'll turn into the fender. Tonight. Yes. Uh, 
if I can get this thing home. trailer so Lawrence can see where the middle is because he's had a hard time figuring figuring that out when he's putting his bells on. Alright, one empty trailer. Here we go. Two things today. Beat the rain and hope it actually rains. We're supposed to get some bad storms later this afternoon. Slow. I was coming to help him. Just dragging. <laughs> he said there's another piece out here. I guess I'll go find it. I see it. At least it's not big. <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to drag it halfway across the field if it was big. Hey, little buddy. All right, getting close. After that bell, he only puts one more on and then we're out of here with load number one for the day. What a mess. It's definitely warm down here today. There's really not a cloud in sight. Yeah. What'd you say? I said, just wait right there at the trailer, you can flip my hitch further. Oh, okay. It didn't come through. Mm. My air condition is calling me. <laughs> what I was saying is there's not really a cloud in the sky, but they're calling for possibly bad storms this afternoon and tonight. <laughs> and again tomorrow. And who knows what this thing down in the Gulf is gonna, ah, 
stop. Who knows what this thing down in the Gulf is gonna do. Evidently, there's something south of Florida. I hadn't even seen the news. Somebody told me. We'll see. We need rain, but we do not need a tropical storm. Mm -mm. My boy's coming to get me. I'm gonna go home and fix lunch. And then we'll be back at it. Okay, belly's full. Heading to fill back up. And it's starting to cloud up. It's changed a lot. Here we go again. Y'all look. Building up, oh my soul. Please hold on a few hours or four or five. I'm going to time us this time to see exactly how long it takes from the time we leave after we unload to the time we get back to unload. I think it's around an hour and a half, but I could be wrong. So, we'll see. I just wanna know, I'm just curious give me something to do.
gotta go for it. See what I can do. This looks easier than it actually is to get on here. What we have is a really big mess. Here. I might have to redo those. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Okay, done. Ugh. No thanks. I'm pretty good if I don't have to do that again. It's like coming inside in an air-conditioned house. Why am I yelling? Well, it's mail day. What'd you get in there, Lawrence? Pressurized. You put iron in it and put penetrating and all of something that I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Oh, you did good. I believe this is from someone named Marcus. I believe. There was no note, but I got an email, so thank you. Thank you so much. He's really excited about it. <laughs> I was like, wait, let me video it. It's pretty. Wolfpack Red. <laughs> So much stuff, y'all. A uh, little magnetic wristband. That'll come in yeah. handy. Magnets, like, oh, yeah. The long magnets to pull out. I'm not sure who those are from. We've got a steamer here that goes on the Instapot. So that, 
that'll be fun. Uh, tire sealant, tire jacked. Lawrence has never used this, right? Nope. No, but excited to try that. Thank you, Rich Healy, for that. That's awesome. Yeah, super excited. And then uh, digital tire inflator. Who is that from? Uh, Chris Murphy. Yep, and Mississippi. Oh, I'm in Missouri. I'm bad about that. All right, well, that was a pretty good Thank haul. Thank you very much. Very sweet, very kind. We sure appreciate y'all. <laughs> we'll have to give this all some, some trying out. This is pretty cool. Good thing it didn't have oil in it. <laughs> no, it doesn't have oil in it. I wouldn't have sprayed you that oil in it. <laughs> Silly goose. And one more very special thing that came in the mail this week. This beautiful sign from Donnie in not too far from here, Pinhook, Virginia. Thank you so much, Donnie. I've already told him, but I wanted to show y'all. Isn't it pretty? He had this made by um, Holland Signs somewhere around Pinhook, Virginia. Very lovely. It's so pretty. Cedar, I love it. Thank you. Y'all are just way too kind. Okay, y'all, real quick uh, table talk here with Lawrence because I know some of y'all like that. And I got a question from my last video several times, so I'm going to let him kind of answer it. I started answering some of the comments, and then I was like, I'm just going to answer this in a video. So, a lot of people asked from our last video about bailing when we were bailing the Sudan and the bailer broke when the belts broke. Why I just sat there and I didn't keep going while he was gone and get all the raking done or get a lot of it done. So there's a couple reasons. I'm going to let you hear from the farmer. The, re <laughs> <coughs> the reason why when you're raking with that twin rake, it, you either, if you, you make too many corners with it trying to rake without a baler. And we usually rake about two or three rounds on the outside to fill, and then we'll rake the baler bails them up, and then we'll rake the straight side of the field back and forth so we'll have straight rows. Another reason, if the other baler broke and she had it all raked and it come a rainstorm, I'd have to tear it all out. Start the, all over uh, again, basically. It's harder to dry in the, in the rake in the windrow. Right. Thank you. Anything else you want to say? No. And this boy right here, I haven't told y'all. I told some of social media this week. He did something pretty cool. What'd you get this week, your first time? A coyote. A coyote. He killed his first coyote down there in that hay bottom. It's totally legal to kill coyote year round. They are a predator and a nuisance, right, yeah. Lawrence? Yeah, so far we've got about 30 calves for me since I've been here. They've killed 30 calves over the years? Yeah. Wow. And some that we just don't know about, probably. Things happen. Don't know where they disappear to. If a if calf disappears, we can just about guarantee that's what it is. So, Wesley got it, but it, he didn't just... What? He made a uh, heck of a shot. It was almost 500 yards. And if any of y'all don't believe it, you can come up here and shoot with him. <laughs> Bring your best gun now. He ain't shooting no play toy gun. It's a little tricked out. But, <laughs> it's tricked out. Uh, it was a 223. 223 shooting a 55 grain VMAX. And it's right at 500 yards. So, but like I said, if any of y'all don't believe it, y'all come up here and shoot with him. I got an 800 yard target. We can go up there and you can see how you can shoot. <laughs> I was super proud of you, buddy. You're pretty excited, weren't you? Because he had a good teacher, too. <laughs> he had a good teacher. Yeah, he did. He's been shooting since he was five. He's been shooting 22 since he was about four. Or four. Yeah. Shot your first turkey when he was six. He killed his first turkey at six with a 410. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I 30, got all that. At 31 yards. At 31 yards. This isn't all made up, y'all. He's a good shot. He's just a good shot. Yeah. And then he killed his first deer when he was seven. Mm -mm. Yeah, I thought. The first deer at six, too. Did you get one both the same year? Yeah. Oh, that was a big year. The same year. Yeah. He did stuff at six that some grown men hadn't done. <laughs> haven't done. Anyway. He's a good, he's a good little hunter. And yes, Lawrence used to hunt a lot, but he doesn't hunt anymore. 
somebody asked why we don't have venison on the table a lot. And I said, because we have a freezer full of beef. <laughs> and we just prefer that. We just finished. This is scraps. We just, it looks like more meat than... Anyway, we just finished supper. And there are some puppies that are very excited about getting some steak buns. Aren't you guys? Okay. Three minutes and 33 seconds. We're done here.